everyone, and welcome to day eight of 31 Days of Horror with me, Angela of Morbid Heart Designs. And this year we're counting down from my least favorite to my most favorite of what I watch. Today we're going to talk about another one from the 50 best horror movies you've never seen documentary. And today this one is called The Fury. This movie is from 1978. It is very much a science fiction horror movie with some really disturbing elements and some kind of cliche action movie shit to me. This is a 70s horror movie that is focusing on a former CIA agent who's trying to save his son from the government who wants to use his psychic telekinetic abilities to their benefit. And I feel like this is very much an action movie, though IMDb does not cite it as an action movie, because of how much action there is. Explosions, gunfights, I mean the first scene that sets up this whole situation is like you're watching a James Bond movie. So not only do we have the protagonist's son with psychic abilities, there are other people involved in the story and the plot that do have psychic abilities as well. Particularly Julian. Gillian, how did they say her name again? Either way, however it's pronounced. When she uses her psychic abilities against people, it does cause them to bleed in unusual and strange ways, which actually lead to some of the most iconic scenes from this movie and some kind of disturbing things. Outside of that, I really don't feel there's much horror in this movie. It's like I said, to me, mainly action. There's a lot of movies on the first part of this list that I struggled to stay engaged with and that does make it harder to rate but also at the same time that means it's not going to get rated really high and this is another one that I struggle to stay engaged with. I do think it was an interesting premise for a movie. I would be interested in a similar story or a modern adaptation of it. Hell, there's probably one out there already. If you know one and you want to suggest it below, please do. Because this is kind of a cliche situation now with how long movies have been made, how many movies there are, how easy it is to produce them on your own more. And I feel like it's probably out there. So let me know if you do or are aware of which one. I do rate this three zombievers out of five. You might enjoy it, you might not. It's gonna go either way. So if you're interested in checking it out, look in the description below. I've let you know where you can find it. Well, there we have another 31 days of horror down. And I hope you're looking forward to finding out my number one for this entire month of reviews. Remember to follow my social media, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that shit. From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day and please don't die before my next video.